Thanks, Charlotte. It's now over to you uh, to decide which one of those is with. I presume the traitor's moment, that must have come in this year and it doesn't didn't work. It must be in next year's catch, because I would have had that, but then it's probably 2024, that, isn't it? So it must be 2023. Uh, for one person from, from Lincolnshire, the best TV moment came a few weeks ago. You might be watching this on the telly tonight. Uh, Dragon's Den is coming up again tonight on BBC One before The Apprentice. But if you were watching last week, you might have noticed Diane from Grimsby, who went into the den hoping to secure a dragon for her business. This is what happened. As you are, or are you willing to embrace a completely different way of doing things, restructure and rebrand the business, and look to see if we can take it to another level? I am quite happy to do what it takes, restructuring, rebranding. I'd be happy for me to own 30 and you to own 70. Let's go then. You're happy? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> We've got a deal. Uh, Diane is with us now on BBC Radio Link. Good morning. What's it like hearing it back? You've probably oh. seen that a million times yeah. now, have you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still pretty scary, to be honest. And it's sort of like really strange, but uh, it was a fun experience overall. Yeah, I mean, I, you say the word fun, I would imagine a lot of people watch that programme and think that looks just terrifying. I, I was terrified. It was. I was really terrified and the, the stress on the day and everything. And I was terrified waiting for the programme to come out as well, really. really? Yeah. Uh, if I could have cancelled it the weekend before, I would have done. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. So I suppose the thing is, I mean, on the telly, what is it, seven or eight minutes or something yeah. like that? How long was it actually in, in real life? <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, there's a lot of prep for even a month before and then um, on the actual day I was there two or three hours um, but about an hour in there I think um, but I was waiting to go in for a long long time and that's when the nerves build yeah well that's it that's it you're hanging around which is yeah. awful when you it's like hanging around for a job interview isn't it it, it, it is a bit you know and it, yeah so uh, and i don't like cameras at the best of times so <laughs> it was it was yeah pretty daunting now you've got in your hand there in front of you what what you invented and this is one of those oh why didn't somebody else think of that because it's a great thing uh, your company is zebedee it's described as the world's first clothes hanging system for sloped ceilings because basically you had a bit of a light bulb moment through your own problem with this. Yes, I did, yeah. Dormer bedroom with four sloping ceilings and it wasn't very wide, so wardrobes really wouldn't have worked. So I thought if I could just find something that would fit to the shape of the ceiling, um, then I could turn one end of the bedroom into a walk-in wardrobe um, dressing area and have the rest of the room for my bed. Uh, but there wasn't any, so I set about solving the problem and eventually spring round of rods popped into my mind I had some made and they really worked. Yeah. So then I realised if they worked for me, they would help other people as well. And it's a simple little idea. You've got a, 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 yeah. I've got it here. So you've got the springs around the, the rod. Yeah. You stick the stick the coat yeah. hang on and it does it's not gonna slope off. No. Yeah, I mean it's when we're saying it now it sounds so <laughs> obvious, doesn't it? But <laughs> but you're the first person to come up with it. So you're there in the den and you think, Well this, I've got something here I and mean, you've gone on the show. What is it like facing those questions? Because they ask a lot of in-depth questions about your, your balance and everything. What is that all like? It's um, answers I should have known. I did know. I couldn't get out my mouth. <laughs> so it was like, you know, I mean, I was pretty good on my figures. I actually memorised seven years worth of figures. Um, and, and I managed to recite them all off, even though um, they only showed two or three years sort of thing. Um, but, and some of the questions that I thought I would know, like the features of the of the rail and things like that um you know i didn't practice enough i don't think because i thought i knew it uh and so oh, when you do it every day i presume i know, you think, oh, I know all that yeah I yeah that. i know that. i concentrated <laughs> on the figures which were great but then when they were asking me certain questions i just couldn't get the words out so the the editors were pretty kind to me i think <laughs> uh, i mean the thing is as well you, you then go through and i presume it's in the same order on telly as it comes out it's all very done very dramatically one by one they all say well we like it we like it Diane but it's not for us what were you thinking now yeah um I sort of ex I knew Stephen wouldn't it wouldn't be for him uh, and Tuka I guessed it wouldn't be for him Deborah I thought would be interested but I think really when I was in there I didn't really sell it enough and what my plans were because the nerves got me so um I didn't put it over as 
good as I should have, I could have. Um, so I was really grateful that uh, Sarah saw its potential and was willing to sort of talk to me about making an offer and that. But to get the deal out, she wanted a lot of changes. She doesn't like the name, does she? And also, she wanted you to change the production of it and to you know, give up a bit more of your business. Yeah. How, how, it, uh, you're comfortable with that after, you know, obviously I don't think about it, but... <laughs> well, I'd already been thinking that the name Zebedee wouldn't work for the world market, mm. for maybe America or whatever. Yeah. And I was already planning a restructure, although not to the extent of moving everything abroad but i was already thinking that we would have to buy some from abroad and i was always already getting prices so i was thinking about hybrid more than anything and from a name point of view i thought once she got her head around it and became more familiar with it and realized the amount of branding yeah, we've done since from the magic roundabout yes, down, she, and yes, yes you said you're too young <laughs> <laughs> to know about the magic roundabout yeah this is it but you know we we get lots of positive feedback on the on the yeah. name and i've had lots of emails in the last week saying please don't change the name and thing yeah. but the thing is we we have got five to seven years worth of branding on that name now yeah. and it is one of our most um searched keywords yeah. so uh you know it, it does really work i suppose so, once it's been on the den as well you don't want to change it because that's what people are searching on now, precisely <laughs> you know but even before then it, it was really popular so yeah yeah so you know i'm i'm open and mm. uh, we may tweak it or whatever and that but for for america and that we may need to go a different way but yeah. i'm i'm hoping we keep it for the uk and um sarah's on board how, how does it work out i don't know we all watch it and think well do they just pop in one one day and that's it give a bit of advice and then just bring you down again what what happens well we're still going through the paperwork stage to oh, be we've honest still got officially yes, it, have you? yes yeah. we have it. it it is complicated and it's very long-winded there's a lot of due diligence after the den which we've all already provided before the den yeah. but then you have to go with the updated figures and all this lot um so we haven't actually got a plan together yet for going forward and what we're doing but because we're still on that stage um but uh we're going to be meeting before too long and start thrashing out how we're going to go forward and yeah. details but a great experience though uh, as well yeah. in the end i mean when you got the money what were you thinking inside i mean you have to try and stay professional presumably did you want to like do a little dance or a jig <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just knew i would keep myself if i didn't do it, didn't take her offer and didn't yeah. follow it through so um you know and yeah i, w I was pleased that it, it all worked out and it was worth the hassle because you know I, it did take a lot to stand for me to stand there i really honestly do not and, like and, and you said as well when you got there as well it was it was more pressure as well because you, you you'd lost your parents in the the, the year or so before mm. that and it was all sort of getting on yeah. top of you a bit wasn't it i think it, it was i mean a lot of that they took me by surprise asking me about my family and i, I again i hadn't been prepared for how i was going to answer that so yeah. the nerves on the day got to me uh but yeah mum passed away just before i launched seven day and dad 18 months before um i did dragons so um that and each of them needed some long-term care by me and my siblings so that did take off the business uh, for quite a while which obviously i would rather spend time with them than anything um so you know it, it, it did have an impact on the business and on me on the day to be honest but uh you know it's it's sort of like you know you these things are sent to try you and yeah. you, you know well, well maybe they were there with you in some way on I, the I day. so i had my mum's locket on anyway so. oh did you <laughs> yeah. oh that's nice then well look yeah. good luck with it and we'll hopefully things will take off once you get signed and sealed and sorted but it's it, it, as you say presumably has it gone mad since you've been on people yeah, inquiring it's been amazing the, yeah. we, the last week has been absolutely a roller coaster but amazing you yeah. got people on the phone going okay we're trying to fast enough as we can to answer the phone <laughs> that kind of thing well yeah. look good luck with it and uh, we'll much, have to Scott. check in with you uh, at a later date to see how it's all going uh, if you missed um the, the the one that diane was in uh, it's last week's and it's on the iPlayer. All the Dragon's Dens are on the iPlayer. And of course, uh, tonight, BBC One, you can see the latest episode. Presumably you still watch and you can watch with a bit and relax now, Diane. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I sort of like behind my fingers. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> uh, watch it on BBC iPlayer or BBC One tonight. Wow.